You guys give it up for Michael Brown over here. He's just killing it. I saw her the other day, she walked in the room, I was like, oh. And I could tell that you were raising up for reasons I don't know. I don't want to say what you want me to say, won't say it all. I don't even think what you want me to think, don't think it all. Cause I could be the one, the only one, oh, if you want me to. I like the way that you look when you look at me and makes me all. I try to use another one, but I can't think it at all. I guess it's okay that you want me to stay, we'll say it all. I could even say, even if it's irate, we'll say it all. Because I could be the one, the only one. Thanks, guys. Um, I've never seen you play like this. All right. So that was really, that was really cool. Um, very, very, very cool. Um, Shay, when, I know you, you've already mentioned that you started in worship. I actually, the first time I ever saw Shay and knew who Shay was, was back in about 2006, 2007 at a Wednesday night youth group service. And he was <laughs> yeah. playing up on the stage and I was going, I just can't believe how many people in this church are talented. Like, that was my only thought was like, what is in the water over here? Um, but <laughs> all that said, when did actually, when did things start happening as far as you writing music that eventually would turn into Shaliff? Man, so yeah, I guess we, me and my brother, because my, my twin brother's my drummer, so we started playing worship music at age 15. And I would say it all started from me like learning these songs and deciding like I wasn't going to look at a screen to learn the lyrics. I was like, I'm going to study these <laughs> lyrics. I'm going to memorize them. And then so from that, you kind of like catch on to certain cadences and just 
you know, ways of thinking and songwriting, you know, so I'd say it started from there, and then I, you know, learned a, you know, catalog of worship songs, and I'd say two years after that, I kind of started to dabble in the writing process, you know, but it takes a while to kind of, to get it where you want it to be, but you got to start somewhere, you yeah. know, so the songs that I wrote originally, I wouldn't put them out anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hide those. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Um, have you guys been playing in town lately now that everything's kind of, you know, opened back up a little bit? Yeah, for a sure. Of- you know, we've done like LA Tech does their student orientations and they had to cancel those. We've played in town. Uh, some of the breweries that open up kind of getting back into things a little bit, you know, not as heavy as we were, but it's nice to be able to play again and kind of get that energy out when you when you need to, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what, um, just because I only asked one other person this, but I mean, who would you say you've been influenced by in your journey? Man, that's a loaded question. It really is. There's a band called Delirious with a question mark at the end. Not many people know who they are, but uh, heavily influenced by them. (laughs) And, you know, a a lot of Christian artists. And then of course, Kings of Leon, love those guys. You two, Foo Fighters, you know, because some of our full band stuff is a lot grittier and and harder to listen to than what we play tonight but you know a lot of rock and roll music um across the board i know that the interesting thing is each band member has their own kind of unique influence so michael's he he likes a lot of the pop music and some of that kind of stuff there but (laughs) we gotta have that pop sensibility i mean when you're songwriting you gotta have somebody in the group that that believes in something that's catchy (laughs) i mean at least a little bit you know that's right yeah, you got to rein yeah. it in. Um, well, that's amazing. It's so cool. I, we had so many. I feel like the first, the first Opry, it was like I didn't know anybody who was there. And tonight, it's like we've got some people, some local artists that are up here. And I'm just, I'm excited to see more of that. Um, I would, before we let everybody go, are, are Nick and Presley and Mus still here?